Shalom. Kahaloyim la Yahweh b'Hashem Yahweh Shai b'Hashem Rachakudash. Double honors unto our apostles and others, a great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sense of Akim out there is pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, with charity. It's your brother Ash from the Great Millstone, Miami Camp, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. The Lord willing to satisfy. And like that, 2021 is about over with, okay? Just like that, 2021 is over, okay? Which we know uh, today is uh, December 8th, which we have less than a month left of uh, the year 2020. But, you know, you, you could say it's, it's, it's about over with, okay? And rightfully through the Spirit did the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shai, okay, uh, through the Spirit, got on our uh, top elder apostle, Tahar, to deem this year, year of the hastening of uh, the coming of our Lord, the coming of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Rightfully so, man. Okay. Because this year came and went faster than any uh, year before it. Okay. We're getting ready to go into real soon was going to be the two year mark. You know, we, we've been in this whole thing for, for two years. This whole uh, pandemic, man. And a lot has changed in the past, you could say, two years. A lot of things is, you know, uh, starting with these elites on the left hand side with their uh you know moving with their nwo agenda they've been they've been pushing a lot man they've been doing a lot of things making different uh plays and uh m moving different positions on the board to get their uh enterprise crowned with success as they say all right there's been a lot of things happening in the spirit a lot of things happening on the right hand side Okay, amongst uh, the brothers, amongst the Akim. Okay, <laughs> and and we're we're in the spirit that the Heavenly Father continues to uh, speed this thing up. So, you know, just like we we do every year, starting with our apostles and elders, man, we 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 are in the spirit of of hastening, hastening, and and, and looking, you know. Uh, spiritually at what the next year may hold okay because we're always you know every year we always say we hope that this is the year okay and we we hope it and and the lord's come like a thief in the night all right the scriptures say that our salvation is nearer than when we believe hey the most i we can't put him in a box the most i can do do uh have certain things happen before this year is over with man okay all hell can break loose before uh their so-called uh christmas feast all right and 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 we could go into the year 2022 with already things uh broke loose in a sense with all all you know shit already hitting the fan you know we could already be in uh jacob's trouble but if not, okay, we we waiting, we 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 uh looking for things to uh heat up next year. Okay, Lord willing, we deliver. Lord willing, we get out of here in uh 2022. And if not, then 2023. But w whenever it happens, we we pray the Lord, you know, speed the days, man, and have it come soon, because obviously that's what He's doing, man. It, it feel like not too long ago. Well, it really wasn't long ago when, when they was shut down everything, and when the, when the shutdowns and the lockdowns, you know, first took place. Fast forward is almost two years later, and surely we thought things was going to, you know, uh, kick off in 2020, which they did to a degree, but it calmed back down. But we 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 that's what the scriptures say. So we should be in the spirit of, uh, you know, praying to the Lord to continue to speed the days, continue to do, 
you know what he's doing and to bring more judgments okay in uh the time to come all right so i'm just get a couple of scriptures and i'll close it out this is uh book of mark chapter 13 and verse 18 and pray ye that your flight be not in the winter which uh we're going into the winter winter is coming like i said it's december 8th you have winter coming in uh december 21st all right and uh you already have a uh, record temperatures i believe you just had a record temperature in a uh, break in uh russia somewhere in russia I forget the city you also uh, i believe uh uh I saw an article, brother, put in the group chat that it was a damn uh, snowstorm in Hawaii. Okay, and 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 uh, the the state went on uh went on uh what's the word uh a national you know an emergency state emergency I forget exactly how they, how you say it but hey it's 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 record temperatures out here so that's why the Lord said hey. Pray that your flight be not in the winter. Pray that, and and the way the Lord said this was, you know, to to if if you don't want to repent, if you don't want to get right, if you if you in a a spirit of of uh, not trying to seek the Lord, Let me let this helicopter pass. If you're not trying to seek the Lord, man, because. Start with the elect, man. We looking to get out of here today, tomorrow. If it got to be the winter, we, we pray that it is the winter. You know, we pray that the Lord come back as soon as possible. Okay, but for, you know, that's why, like it says in the book of Amos, I will to you that desire the day of the Lord. For what in, is it unto you? For the day of the Lord is darkness and not light, roughly paraphrasing. So for these people, you know, uh, in the world, man, it's going to be bad if, if all hell break loose in the winter. Especially if they do uh, EMP, you know, no no uh, electricity, no heat, no uh, food in the stores, man. It'll be very bad. Okay? It'll be very bad. Okay? But um, as for the elect, we, we, no matter, whenever if hell break loose, you're going to be good. No matter winter, summer, spring, fall, it don't matter. And we praying that the Lord come back as soon as possible. We pray this thing crack off right now. We understand certain prophecies have to uh, take place, but the prophecies is taking place, man. You ever got over there in Sweden? They already linking their their V passports with the Karagna. So we can clearly see that we we are here, man. We're in those times. Very soon, man. Okay. Verse nineteen. For in those days sh shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of the creation, which the Most High created unto this time, neither shall be. All right. What that's talking about? It's talking about the hour of Jacob's trouble. Okay. Uh, as the scriptures say, Revelation. Was that Revelation three? All right. The hour of uh, temptation. All right. Time like never before. Like it says in Jeremiah thirty. Okay, uh, how, how is it written? Okay, uh, right, great tribulation like never before. That's that's the SHTF situation. All hell break loose, man. Martial law out here, different uh, natural disasters, different uh, apparitions and cranes, you know, crazy, strange paranormal activity taking place on the earth plagues like egypt but uh more greater coming to babylon the great which is american throughout the four corners of the earth that's the times we're getting ready to go into okay verse 20 and except that the lord has shortened those days no flesh should be saved okay so the lord says it's gonna be so bad that if he don't speed up time Okay, he's going to actually have to speed up time because there's going to be so much death that if, if he allow it, allow it to go on, then even the elect would die. Okay, it would be no flesh to be saved. Yahweh Shah would come back and everybody would be dead. 
That's how we know through the spirit power Yahweh by Shemel Shah when all hell really break loose. Like uh Apostle Tar been saying, man, over the years. Once they push out that karagma, once you see they mandate that karagma, that MOTB, things is gonna move quick. Things is gonna happen very quick. And we already getting a taste of it now. If you see look how fast 2021 has, has passed, it's over already. So imagine when all hell really breaks loose. Time is going to be moving very quick. And we pray the Lord uh, continues to uh, speed up the time, man. Because we want to get out of here. We're ready to go. All right. But for the elect's sake whom he have chosen, he have shortened the days. You see, so for his elect's sake, he's going to shorten the days. He's going to speed up the time. All right. Which leads me to this precept. Second Ezra chapter 2. In verse 13, go and ye shall receive. So like you go and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you. That ye may be, that they may be shortened. All right, so we should be praying to y'all about Shemel Shah that the days be shortened. That he continues to speed up the time. And, and uh, we get closer and closer to that day. First and foremost, where all hell breaks loose. And then ultimately that day when Yahweh Shah returns. All right, leading up to the uh, return of our Lord and the destruction of Babylon the Great. You can feel it, man. You can feel it through the spirit. That is not going to be too much uh, uh, longer, man. All right, we don't have much more time to prepare ourselves. Okay, which every day is uh, we, want, we want the Lord to come back as soon as possible. But we know every day that he has... You know, not yet come is another day for us to uh, prepare ourselves, which is a uh, grace and mercy from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Okay? But the doors of mercy is closing. As the scriptures say, How, what manner of persons are ye to be in our holy conversation of righteousness? And I'm speaking to myself first. All right? And uh, just like the brother Ramak down here in Miami I always say, it's only going to happen one time. We only got one chance, man, to make it. It's going to be on the, you know, on the first go round, all Israel gonna be saved, but we want to make it on the first go round. Okay, the kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch, so the kingdom is already prepared, man. Things is already the, the heavenly Father already got things set up in motion. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah already got the He already got it set up. Lord, when we have that elect, the bodies is prepared for us. Our crowns is waiting for us. All right, authority that rod of iron is is waiting for it, for the Lord to you know to to be given to the men of the Lord. The scriptures speak about the whole creation groaneth for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. All we gotta do is is uh pray that the Heavenly Father speed it up. Okay. Oh, we, as Yahweh Shai said, man, watch as well as pray. That's what we have to do. Watch, pray, and stay diligent, man. And look how fast this shit passed, man. Being the 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 hastening of the the, the year of hastening of the coming of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So how much more next year? Okay. So hey man, we almost out of this. Just a quick exhortation through the spirit. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bye, Shem Yawashah. Bye, Shem Rahakadash. Until the next one, Shalom.